timeline? Because they're all just different because things that are within the program, within the system. The they're not actually on a timeline. They're just within it. So you can jump from whatever you want. So that's why like anything could so be possible like because we can possible. simulate our universe. Simulate well, we're almost there. Once we once we're able to simulate our universe to the point where we're able to, it's indistinguishable from our own reality, and all of our senses are being affected, and we're able to sleep and do everything within it. Then, then that's when we'll be gods because we'll literally be able to create whatever we want forever and in there forever practically and it wouldn't even seem like that long like we could go on for an hour and live for like a year probably think about it <laughs> think about it really we could fucking sim stim simulate uh, time changing inside of a inside of like a, a programmed universe inside of a computer inside of a computer that is that is really crazy to wrap your mind around <laughs> because when you brought it up, it just all started making sense. It's like the pictures of the cosmic microwave background. How could that be possible? They say the universe is, what, 14.8 billion years old? That energy could not last that long, for one. With the amount of energy it took to create the theoretical Big Bang, no. I'm sorry. I don't know how much so energy it is. <laughs> some kind of, that has to be some kind of heat. Well, they say the universe expanded to, like, what, a third of its size in a fraction of a second? Yeah, just take your mic, is that cool? But, uh... So, if you think about it, all that, like, not, I think not only the that, big bang the amount was, uh, of stars and everything... <laughs> if you guys want to know what my opinion on the Big Bang is... I think it was a uh, initiation like when you click the start of the program like when you click run program like you know just running the file I think that's what the big pain was yeah like like when you um like when it you turned turn on, on or off an old school TV you know yeah everything just pops out right <laughs> yeah and it kind of makes sense cuz you know we only see one fucking side of the moon I don't know what you're getting on about that, but <laughs> that's because it's time mean, locked. It spins I don't, at the. I don't believe the moon is actually there, to be honest. <laughs> oh, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe the moon is actually there. I believe that's actually an illusion because we're the only planet in the terrestrial side to have a moon. Nah, that's not real. No, what about uh, Jupiter and Saturn? They have moons. But Europa they're not on the terrestrial moon. side. But what is gas giants? The terrestrials are Earth, Mercury, Mercury, Venus, like Earth, rock. and Mars. Wait, out of all of them, none solid. of them have moons except for us. None of none of them yeah, have moons the except the moon. for us. Dude, that ah, is an, that is watch. just another topic to look into. <laughs> it's gonna spend like ten hours watch. looking into this look, now. <laughs> I'm telling you, look into the false moon. You're you're gonna see what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, I've like, seen it all makes sense. false moon videos. I've seen hologram moon videos. And the thing with holograms is that the government, well, the U.S. government. I don't know about Canada's government because I live in Canada. But the U.S. government has a technology where they're able to beam holograms into space and make it seem like we have UFOs and. They can simulate a moon if they wanted to. They could do so exactly. much stuff with it already. Like, if, let's say... <laughs> let's say they were building a huge fucking laser on the moon that would have been visible because it would have been so fucking massive and it would have been, they would have looked like kind of like a like a tower or something on the moon but you know we would we would it would be really hard to see but you would be able to see it after like a lot of time like what if they were like developing yeah. like a huge super weapon on the moon and they wanted to cover it up they just put a hologram over top of it and then you can't see what the Boom, moon looks like you just started a whole conspiracy theory right there <laughs> what if there's dragons on the moon <laughs> what if they found an like, uh, alien spaceship on the moon and now they're flying them around on the moon <laughs> the crazy thing is you never freaking know that's the funny thing like, yeah i know <laughs> to be honest with you, do you believe the um the moon landings happen oh i believe that the the official moon landing was staged you believe it was staged 
Because okay. there's proof. There's literal proof on I the know. internet that you can find. There's actual I know. Uh, recordings of them staging it, like, and it's obvious. And yeah, I'm on your side on that. I mean, there was way <laughs> too many things off with that. Like, yay, we And made I don't moon, think that this yay, in any it. way has to do with Flat Earth. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> Anyone who thinks that well, the, see, the moon landing is being if fake. If the Earth was oh. uh, flat, uh, there wouldn't be no way to make it to the moon. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, there'd be no way for I know, and that's what lots of people might think. So we couldn't have right? a moon. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, killing me. Yo, lots of people might think, oh, okay, um, the reason why the moon landing was fake is because we found out that uh, the Earth is a closed system and that it's actually flat and that they're just, that we can't leave. <laughs> so we faked it in order to trick everyone. Uh... Hmm. Uh, really? <laughs> Do you think that's what they did? <laughs> that's so stupid. Like, um, the reason that they faked it is pretty obvious when you actually go back to the time and look at the context. At that time, Russia was um, in competition with getting to, to space. And they got to space yeah, first, but they didn't get to the moon. It was... It was a competition. Exactly. It was just a race. It was a show of power f between countries to see who <laughs> could do a certain thing first. It had. It was. It was a way for the U.S. to bankrupt the uh, Russian military, so yeah. therefore we wouldn't have to go to war with them because they'd be and too it, broke to afford one. Yeah, and it had and it nothing worked. to do with um, needing to explore space. We didn't need to for any reason. Like, we have tons of space. Why would we need to explore? If Explore space, exactly. But we hardly know anything about our own planet. <laughs> we know, right? Thank so much you. Shit we don't know we haven't even planet. discovered thirty percent of the oceans yet. Come on. <laughs> exactly. Dude. Yeah. Like we we could literally probably um spend like another thousand years on Earth without needing to leave for any reason. Like n not even to get resources. We wouldn't even need to pick sh something up from Costco. Like we could literally stay at Earth forever. <laughs> Maybe not forever, but that like for thousands of years. Wipes it out. I'm, I'm talking thousands of years. I'm not talking forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see that thousands of years would be cut short in about two years because we'll be hit by a meteor and it'll destroy the Earth. In, in two uh, years? Yeah, this, this well, meteor has been coming, I guess, for years on end. Yeah. Are you talking about, yeah, are you talking about series? Are you talking about series? Yes. Wait, Ceres? Well, Ceres has been in the asteroid belt for years. They've known about Ceres for a long time. All it would take is a nice little been... nudge from Jupiter and have a 600-mile-wide asteroid way. headed our way. It's already heading our way. But think about yeah, it like this, crazy. right? They, need a, they can't blow it up. That'd make it worse. Let's say um, that the many worlds interpretation is real. Okay, the many world interpretation says that every possible universe exists and that um, we can technically like get to any possibility, right? So um, so is that the same? Thing? So wait, like, is that the same thing that I'm thinking of? Like, okay, say you had the choice to go to college, you didn't go, but in a that choice opened up another universe where you went to college and so on and so forth. Is that where you get? Yeah, at yeah. So, one? so basically, there the okay. universe okay. exists I'm that you live in right where now. you didn't go to college, but then also the universe exists where you did go to college and all those things happened, and the, and those choices and those things are actually affecting your life right now, but you can't see it because the inter the universes are interacting with each other on such a on such a level that it's outside of our, like, our detection. There's no way to, f to, yeah, cause, to yeah. see it. It's impossible because it's two universes, it's, it's multiple universes saying, interacting with each other the same way that the, uh, all the particle possible uh, paths are interacting with each other to cause a wave formation. That's, that's the same thing with the universes uh, and the possibilities that we choose. They're all, they're all affecting each other, and so that's why I think like our personalities are like ingrained, and um, you know what like uh, things that happen to us that like we don't know like uh, like why why is it happening? I think it could be, it could have to do with like, happening in another universe and, and so, like cross crossover affecting you. <coughs> 
And also another yeah. thing, I, I believe in the quantum way. suicide theory, <laughs> which I've been talking about a lot lately. Quantum suicide, you can't kill yourself it. unless, well, actually I'm not sure if it's, uh, my theory is a little bit more uh, along the line. But basically my, my version of this quantum suicide theory is that you can't kill yourself unless you will it. That you will death. And so if you don't have the will to die, that you will stay alive, no matter what. And, and well, to the point where there's only one possible life strand left, and then that life eventually will end. Because I feel like we all have a tree of possibilities when we were born. We could all choose different decisions, and based on those decisions, we open up different universes that we could explore. And each of these timelines connects into a tree sort of formation. And the, the branches only go so far, so even if you chose the branch that went the farthest, you probably would eventually die. But you're allowed to choose whichever one you want, and uh, that's that's the cool thing. And because of how many possibilities there is... Lee from Spawn. Jake doesn't have enough. If... oh shit. Let's get off Jake. Oh, I don't have a relic, dude. Let's get off Jake. If it's done. It's fine. What are you doing? Well, what's up with the, the, the paying attention to the mission? Just talking about <laughs> the only two people got. All right. Um. Oh shit. <laughs> but yeah. So let's say, let's say the universe is inf infinite, and that the the amount of possibilities is also infinite. That means that there's an infinite of uh, amount of possibilities, <laughs> which is what I just fucking said. Uh, so, so let's say that those branches technically can't stop stop going. Like they could keep on. Uh, some of them could end, right? Some of them could end, but there yeah. would have to be one that goes forever. That there has to be because that's a possibility. <laughs> 100% of the damage. There's the possibility <laughs> of finding an exact replica nobody took of yourself damage. in a universe that big. Bro, nobody took damage. <laughs> it's like it's stupid. Really? Look at the numbers, dude. 100 wow. zero, 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 zero. <laughs> hey, You got all the kills. I wasn't even paying attention either. Oh, I stack up kills and I'm not. <laughs> But yeah, so, and then uh, the quantum suicide theory is basically, let's say if there's uh, two possibilities, right, that you, that you could choose, that your, let's say your conscious is kind of like a car, you know, and when you're driving down the car of life, your conscious can choose whichever road it wants to take, and because of, uh, because of, you know, your, your, your universe being split into two, the car splits into two and takes all the paths that are possible, right? So the car just yeah. keeps splitting. Every yeah. single time there's another cross in the road, another decision to make, the car splits. The conscious splits into two. Then the conscious could die if the person dies, right? But think yeah. about it like this. The conscious died in that universe, but it didn't die in another one, right? So it still yeah. exists. <laughs> so let's say that you can't kill a consciousness, um, or that that you you can't kill your own consciousness if you don't want to. You are given the choice, right? The decision, the willpower. That's what we're gonna call it, will. So you have the will to choose if you want to die or not, right? So. <laughs> God, this is getting a little, a little bit like die for, forever, right? like completely um, erase yourself off off of the timeline. What you mean? Right? What do you mean dying like that? I, I well, I mean just dying. You, like like you end. Like you 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 stop. Uh, yeah, like experiencing life. And you stuff. die, so then there's no more. Uh, Your timeline ends. There's no more other versions of you left in the in the universe. There's, well, let's. You're well, completely wiped well, off. Let's say, well, what I'm talking about is like you die in your universe, right? Yeah. But there's still another. Probably. But there's still, another but yeah, you, the other use will live on. Unless you want it to die. No, no, no. Unless no. you want to stop completely. You can't like what I'm, what I'm, what my theory is. You can't control the other ones, but you can choose if you want to die in your own universe, whichever universe you I never end die. up in, right? Right. Let's say that you have the willpower, right? So all the time.